But for more on this, let's cross now to Redwood, California, and Brett Butler, who is the founder and CEO of Mongabay, an environmental science news platform. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So can you tell us, first of all, the extent of the damage of the fires to the Amazon rainforests? Yeah, so there's been this big increase in fires in the past uh, past two weeks. And one reason why they've gotten so much attention is because of the wind patterns. So it's driven a lot of the smoke over the Amazon. So that's really made people in cities like Sao Paulo aware of the issue. Um, the deforestation really started to ramp up about um, two months ago. So, um, Rhett, what do you make about um, Jair Bolsonaro's stance and especially his latest comments? Well, his latest comments are really interesting that he backtrack on, on blaming environmentalists for these fires. Um, most uh, NGOs felt it was quite ridiculous for him to be uh, blaming them for these fires. Um, the reality is, is that um, Bolsonaro's policies have been a major factor in uh, supporting this increase in deforestation. So between uh, reducing the law enforcement budget, um, relaxing the environmental laws, and his open hostility towards scientists, indigenous peoples, and NGOs, um, those really create the conditions that um, lead to things like these fires and this increase in deforestation. But considering that he hasn't been in office for very long, I mean, is it to do with also past policies? Well, so the groundwork was laid, uh, which was part of the reason why he was elected. There's this um, movement of called the Ruralistas, which uh, is agribusiness who are uh, you know supporting these policy or reducing these these policies to protect the Amazon. So there was kind of that um, that underlying trend, and then he came to power and immediately said signaled that he was going to um, you know re reduce um, environmental law enforcement, um, not collect the fines that had been levied on on. Uh, landowners for illegal deforestation. So the signals were there as soon as he was elected and even in the run-up to his election that he was going to, um, you know, take a stand that would be um, essentially like a pro-deforestation position. Well, so apart I think, from policies, I think, yes, um, do continue. Do, so I think, I think the, you know, the, the groundwork was laid before he even came into office that this was going to be, this was going to happen. And and the fact that there's been this big increase in deforestation is just uh, confirming the worst fears of, of civil society. And Red, um, just of course, apart from policies, I, we have to ask this question, how much of an effect is global warming having on the Amazon rainforests? Uh, so it's, it's significant. So I mean, it goes both ways. So as, you, as deforestation increases and these, and these fires happen, that's driving a lot of carbon emissions in the atmosphere. But at the same time, uh, warming temperatures is having an impact on the Amazon. So what it's doing is it's exacerbating drought cycles. And so when you have dry conditions in the Amazon, you tend to have forest die off, which releases carbon. You also have more forest fires, which uh, re release carbon. So uh, it really goes both ways. And so the big fear is that um, if deforestation continues in the Amazon, it could tip towards a different type of ecosystem. So away from this uh, wet tropical forest um, towards a more savanna-like woodland ecosystem. And so what that means for, um, for Brazil and the wider South America is it might shift um, the rainfall patterns further north. Um, so that would deprive areas that are really uh, critical for agriculture of kind of this regular rainfall that they've you know, they come to expect, as well as urban areas like uh, Sao Paulo and Rio. So um, we'd expect to see a, an increase in drought and uh, water scarcity, um, which would undermine food security in the region. Thank you very much for that insight there, Rep Butler.